And incentive it pays to buy Irish Dickpool Philly Stakes Race. They're often racing. Nice even jump from the gates, although Ivory Madonna needs a little bit of work from the saddle in the early stages. At the back of the main group, Funny Money Honey jumped very smartly indeed, is the early leader here, taking the field along from Song of Success in second place and also Poetic Union towards the outside. Wider still, big white face of Juliet Sierra. Meanwhile, Immortal Beauty's just getting a lovely toe down the hill, positioned nicely in a share of fourth place, just ahead of Miami Girl. And then tagline slightly further back with Maria Branwell and all the time on the wide outside. Ange de la Moore racing with just two behind her at this early stage of the race. So Sleepy being one of them and uh, Ivory Madonna not able to live with the pace at the moment after that tardy start. Heading then down towards the two furlong marker on the far rail. Funny Money Honey still with the advantage but now asked for more. They're then followed through by Poetic Union who's still there. Here's Juliet Sierra's big white face on the outside. Maria Branwell hanging slightly wider still is all the time down the middle of the track. Juliet Sierra's trying to put it up to Funny Money Honey, Juliet Sierra, Funny Money Honey, tagline finishing off very strongly indeed, down the outside all the time as well, Juliet Sierra, Juliet Sierra I think just from all the time on the outside who came home very strongly, there wasn't much to choose between those two fillies. Juliet Sierra has won the big race of the day, the Group 3 Dick Pool, and Rob Hornby was the man on board. She's very distinctive with that big white face. Talk me through the race and how it panned out from your perspective. Yeah, it was a case of, obviously I was drawn in nine, so didn't want to have to take back too much and have to get around some, um, some of the traffic in the race. So I was happy just to let her pop out, even if I was a little bit wider than intended. Um, she's been settling much more in her races and, and at home, so... And actually, cantering to the start, she jumped the road crossing, so I was quite happy to let her see it and see where she was going. Um, but she travelled smoothly throughout. I was able to track Ryan on my on my inside, and uh, he brought me as far as I would have wanted, really. I, I saw plenty of the front, but she knuckled down. The, the second horse challenged away from her, which is never ideal, um, because she is still quite green mm. when she was in front. But, you know, to go and show that kind of attitude and... Um, and, and be, be still green with it is, is um, very encouraging to think that there's improvement there. Yeah, just little things are sort of iron out, but her, the rate of her progress is really quick. It is, and she's obviously, she's, she's, um, she's done a lot right at home. Uh, even from her debut, um, she was a bit keen and, and did it a little bit upside down, but she still, she still ran very well and showed she's quite natural and got ability, and we just changed a few things. We just popped the nose went on her, which was... Um, you know, worked really well, worked really well at Nottingham. And, um, you know, it was a case of today, I wasn't too concerned if she was going to grab hold of the bit because, you know, in a stronger race, they're going to go uh, a stride quicker with um, horses with more experience. So, no, she's just gone about it really nicely. And, you know, it's obviously, it's renowned to be a, a, a strong contest and it looked on paper. And, um, yes, yeah, she's really pleased, pleased me today. And I'm not going to ask you to pick the race, but more sort of distances. So she's got a seven furlong entry in the Rockfell, a six furlong entry in the Cheveley Park and a mile entry in the Phillies Mile. What do you feel she is this season? Today has just um, made me just have a rethink about that, really, because um, she's taken her racing so well. If you'd asked me after Newmarket, I'd say she's probably a sprinter. But the, the way she's developing and taken her racing, you know, she's, she's going about it really nicely. And... Um, it's a discussion we'll have and, and, um, and see how she comes on from this. Mm -hmm. you know, but I, I, I feel after today it's, it's more go up and trip. Now whether it's a furlong or two furlongs is the, the big question um, and obviously a big step up again. So um, we'll let her just, just, just um, see how she does from today, speak to Jumman and, and all the team. And, um, but I, my, my first natural feeling is, is probably go up and trip. Mm -hmm. Um, how far that is will yet to be decided. Well, she's by bated breath, but on the dam side of things, there's encouragement up to a mile. She's closely related to a horse who won a grade one as an older horse over an extended mile, so there is an encouragement for your argument. Yeah, I'd, and I'd look more towards the dam side for that, really, because um, she, she, she's got a relaxed way of going, and, you know, you, I perhaps wouldn't have said that after her first run because she was quite quite gassy and, and keen, but... It's remarkable how she's she's taken her training and, and, and she's thriving on that. So um, really encouraging. I mean, I, you know, I've, I've ridden in this race before and it, it's always thrown out a few nice ones. So, um, yeah, exciting, ex exciting future. Very much so. I look forward to following her. Many congratulations. Well done. Thanks a lot. Thank you.